Hi everyone. Welcome to Professor Srinidhi's classes. Like, comment and share the video and also subscribe to the channel. This video is about entrepreneurship, types of entrepreneurship, classification and types of entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurship may have many different types. Let us see some of the major ones. Starting with nascent entrepreneurship. The exact meaning of nascent is just coming into existence and beginning to display signs of future potential. It is the process of establishing a business venture, a startup. Project based entrepreneurship. This type of entrepreneurship which are devoted to producing a singular objective or goal and get disbanded rapidly when the project ends. They are of limited lifespan and repeated creation or establishment of temporary organization takes place continuously. Next one, institutional entrepreneurship. It is basically changing the institution from within the organization only if the company is not working all that well. It highlights the collective nature of entrepreneurship. For more details, you can check on my other YouTube video on intrapreneurship. Millennial Entrepreneurship The people born during 1980s and 90s, early 90s, are millennials, also known as Generation Y. A lot of new business models and technologies are very, very successful from this generation. You know, like Google, Facebook, Twitter, all such kind of companies. This is Millennial Entrepreneurship. Ethnic Entrepreneurship it is a type of entrepreneurship where the targeted goal is for particular ethnicity and owned by a particular group of minority ethnic group. Cultural entrepreneurship. It's also called as art entrepreneurship or culturepreneurship. This is a type of entrepreneurship where it creates a business that is grounded in the arts creatively inclined and is relevant to the cultural heritage of a specific community. It characterizes a sphere of activities with the subject to constant change between one's unconnected fields of the arts, the culture and business sector. These were really unconnected but now it is in the mainstream. Feminist Entrepreneurship it's a type of entrepreneurship where feminist views, values, ideas, ideals are applied to be benefited for women and girls, that is feminine gender. Nowadays, a lot of this type is on the rise and there are a lot of government benefits and supports also. Social entrepreneurship. This is an entrepreneurship which solves the social, cultural and ethical issues. With the help of startup companies, secure funds and implement solutions on the issues. The difference of it with ethnic entrepreneurship is that in social entrepreneurship, it is to solve a social issue. Whereas in ethnic entrepreneurship is to bring in change to a group of a particular ethnicity. Next part is classification of entrepreneurs. There are so many different classifications. I'll just say some of it, the major ones. Classification according to the type of business you do. Under this, there are some different types like retail entrepreneurs where you sell products by having a retail shop or e-retail website like Flipkart, Amazon, eBay, India Mart, all such kind of things. Service entrepreneurs. You give service to the people, service to the products like security services, hospitality services, medical personnel services, any product services. Agricultural entrepreneurs. There are agriculturists buying, selling agricultural products, equipments, agro based industries. Business entrepreneurs. Have an idea, start a business, run it and grow it. Trading entrepreneurs, one who undertakes trading activities and is not concerned with manufacturing work at all. 
Only thing is the buying the products and selling it. Industrial entrepreneurs, manufacturers of products, that is identifying the customers, manufacturing the products and servicing. Corporate entrepreneurs have an idea, start a business, run it and grow it. But within the organization, it's intrapreneurship. You can watch my previous video on intrapreneurship for more details. Next classification is according to stage of economic development or cognitive capability of entrepreneurs. We have innovative entrepreneurs. They are like uh, ones who introduce new products, new technologies, new market itself. The creators, innovators. Imitative entrepreneurs, they adopt a successful business model or copy the innovators, remodel it according to the needs of customers. Also called as adoptive entrepreneurs, you know like Flipkart, they adopted the Amazon's business model. At one time they were the employees of Amazon, then they started Flipkart in India. Fabian entrepreneurs. They are very cautious people and even they are skeptical about any change and also they do not adopt to any changes on some higher conditions and only at extreme conditions they adopt to the changes. Drone entrepreneurs, they follow traditional methods only, refuse to change anything. They accept losses in their business rather than changes. Next classification according to the use of technology there are technical entrepreneurs where the entrepreneurs or their business is technology oriented maybe technology service it tools companies and services and all under this also we have highly technical and low tech entrepreneurs non-technical entrepreneurs who don't require technology for their business to run like uh, uh, selling products marketing where you don't need tech gears and all professional entrepreneurs they are the individuals who provide specialized services like business solutions management consultants accountants lawyers trainers psychologists Next classification is according to the area, place, region. You have urban entrepreneurs, they are placed in urban areas, whereas rural entrepreneurs are placed in rural areas. Their business base is in rural places. For example, agro-based industry can only make business in rural places because their customer base is in rural and also the raw materials. Another classification is according to their gender, men entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs and other gender. The last classification is according to their age, that is the age of entrepreneurs. You have young entrepreneurs, middle aged and old aged entrepreneurs. So this is a whole like basic classifications and its types of entrepreneurs. This is the end of video. Stay tuned to the channel for more. Thank you.